Hi, Susie Strazula here again as your Paddler Zone Fitness Coach. All right, so we're going to discuss the term neuroplasticity. All right, so you've heard people talk about muscle memory. Well, neuroplasticity is actually your nervous system, your brain. And that brain sends a message to the muscle to perform an action. All right, so that's in simple terms, right? So you can't have muscle memory without neuroplasticity. So it, neuroplasticity is the ability of the brain to form and recognize or reorganize synaptic connections, um, especially in response to learning or having experience or following an injury or uh, a stroke even, right? So if you have a stroke, your body has to, you have to relearn things like walking and talking and possibly even swallowing in worst case scenarios. So it's the neuroplasticity is the ability for the neural network system in the brain to restructure and rewire itself to function in some way that differs from how it previously functioned. It, um, it changes through growth and when it recognizes there needs, there's a need for adaptation, right? So in other words, um, it, it continues to develop and change throughout your lifetime, right? So an old dog can learn new tricks if it's open and willing, right? If it's not open, not willing, set in the ways, then the old dog will not learn new tricks. But if you're open and willing, you're gonna learn new tricks, okay? So, all right, so, we're going to discuss a paddle that actually helps with developing neural pathways for paddling. And that is the Hyper Foo Disciplinarian. Love this paddle for training. Once you feel this paddle, you'll search for that feeling with every other paddle that you have and you own. Right? So I paddle with Outrigger paddles, I paddle with Dragon Boat paddles, and you know, I'm gonna tell you that I think that this paddle really helped me make the women's premier team for Team USA um, this cycle. I'm really, really stoked. I had my fastest time um, that I've ever paddled a 500, and I'm really stoked because um, it, this is this paddle has taught me um, how to fire the muscles properly and to search for that feeling of the perfect stroke and constantly search for it, right? Um, but anyway, so this paddle, once you enter it in the water, it's gonna give you information right away. It's, gonna, it's, it's amazing in and of itself, right? So if I'm just scratching the surface, the paddle's gonna cavitate. So that's gonna tell me that I need to submerge my paddle deeper into the water, right? So again, like if it cavitates, that means I'm not deep enough into the water. So it's telling you information right away. And your exit, it should come up nice and easy, right? So exit should be easy. It shouldn't be yanking out of the water. You don't need to do that. The paddle is gonna teach you how to um, exit uh, effortlessly in a way. You shouldn't have to force an exit. So to me, this paddle is probably um, this one of the best training tools right now on the market. Um, if, you, if you are open to something new and wanting to learn where you may not um, be as efficient, again, this paddle is it, and um, it, gives you, it gives you great feedback right away, within two to three strokes. And um, as Johnny Puakea talks about, um, you, you, know, you, you always revert back to your old stroke within three strokes. This paddle, the disciplinarian, doesn't allow you to do that. All right, so um, my recommendation is this paddle for training. Uh, I tried racing with the Liberta uh, Liberator and unfortunately I was so excited about it too. Um, it's got the carbon fiber shaft. It's uh, kind of shaped a little bit more like a Dragon Boat blade. It's a sprint blade. Uh, I went to go use it this weekend in Santa Barbara and within Gosh, a, a changeover and a few strokes on one side, um, a wave popped up some, uh, and the wind kind of uh, picked up the paddle, knocked it out of my hand, and I was super bummed because I just watched it 
go by in slow motion. But thankfully, I had a paddle attached to our Yaku and um, it was uh, passed up to me and I was able to finish the race with a paddle in my hand. Not mine, unfortunately. Somebody else now has my Liberator and um, my hope is that I will get it back soon. Uh, <laughs> um, but if not, they needed it more than I did because I haven't gotten it back. Anyway, so again, neuroplasticity is the ability for a brain to be able to process um, information and be able to apply it and put it into muscle. All right, so I hope you are well. If you know somebody, give it a whirl and search for that feeling. All right, every stroke makes a difference. Everyone, and this one will get you there. All right. Make it a great day. Take it easy. I'll see you on the other side. Less to be on the water. <laughs>